Alrighty, everybody, and welcome back to another thrifty review. This is the second thrifty review for this week. We have one more to go to conclude our week of reviews. And in today's quick review, we are going to be taking a look at the Sue Color 72 Count Color Pencil Set. Now, before we do, we are going to jump into a quick demo so that you can see the pencils in use before I give you my thoughts. <laughs>
So the pencils come in a cylinder curated cardboard container. I was really fascinated with a couple of things when I originally ran across this product on Amazon. Now, I purchased these pencils in uh, honesty well over a year ago, um, and I'm getting around to testing and reviewing them over the last couple of weeks coming out of the videos that I did for Christmas, or before Christmas, should I say. And I am kind of excited about this because I'll be just honest from the jump, these pencils really kind of, you know, impressed me, especially for the price. And I was really, the crafter in me was really, really, really curious about the um, cylinder container. And I just have a million ideas going on in my head about things that I can do with this. More than likely, I'm going to remove these pencils and put them into the pencil holder that I have on my desk for the pencils that I use on top of like my watercolor gouache and alcohol marker illustrations, things of that nature. Um, and then I'm going to repurpose the actual container. So I'm going to do a lot. This, this pencil set is going to serve a lot of purposes. All right. So with all that gabbing out the way, Sue Color 72 color pencils, high quality color pencils for coloring, sketching, drawing, writing, and doodling. Extra smooth, brilliant colors, pre-sharpened, soft break resistant lids, excellent color lay down for 100% coverage, environmentally friendly and non-toxic. The back of the cylinder says suit color, complies with safety standards, European EN71 and US ASTM D4236. Sharp edge choke hazard for children three years and above. Does not contain rainforest wood and the product is made in China. So that is all of the information. Now, of course, Sue Color is a budget company. They do make a wide range of products. I have recently gotten my hands on some of those products uh, based on a care package that was given to me. This particular set I purchased myself. Um, so I am kind of just testing out their range of products as far as a budget company goes. And these pencils were kind of impressive. So the cylinder has a top that is removable, of course. Um, and it's just, you know, craft cardboard. It's, I think it's pretty cool. Real simple, straightforward, economical packaging. I really think that they put the money into the actual product in this case. So you have 72 colored pencils and, you know, in all honesty, the packaging has its pros and cons. Although I think it's pretty cool, this particular type of packaging means that you would have to remove all of the pencils from the container in order to grab access to them per se um, at one time. Now they do have a they do have a color chip on them. But of course, if you're gonna store the pencils inside this cylinder uh, with the lids up to protect them, then the color chip will be hidden and you will be relying on looking at the color of the lid to, you know, decipher your color. Let's take a look at one of the barrels. So the pencils are round. I did remove all of the pencils. I won't do that now and, do, and conducted a roll test. They are all perfectly round in my particular set. Um, there was no warp pencils or anything funny of that nature. It is a pretty standard barrel pencil with a standard lid in it. Um, of course, it's prone to rolling because it is circular. It has Sue Colors branding on there. It says Soft Series. And then there's a color number, um, which I'm assuming is going to match uh, as the range grows, that way you would know what color. Although I don't think they sell them open stock. I haven't seen them open stock anywhere. So you would have to buy another set in order to replace a color. Um, but they are domed. So I was not able to see if the lid was centered from initially looking at the pencils. However, after sharpening, I can say that I believe all of the lids, I do mean every single one of them, were centered. I do not recall having any, you know, weird sharpening on any of them. I mean, that one might be off just slightly, but 
it wasn't a huge deal at all. Now, the color chips are on the pencils. They are actually relatively close to the lid of the pencil, in all honesty. Now, I do always suggest that you swatch your products, but, um, you know, if you can eye a color, if you think you are pretty good at eyeing colors, then I think that the lids and the color chips are pretty close to each other, which really surprised me for a budget set of pencils. I wasn't really used to that. Now, of course, I do not believe Sioux Color manufactures their own pencils. I do believe that they have their pencils white labeled, of course, from a factory in China. Uh, I did do a little investigation with some of the color pencil sets that I have here to see if I could figure out if they were similar to any other pencil uh, based on appearance or make or weight. Mind you, these pencils are pretty light in the hand, pretty comfortable to hold. I didn't experience any type of achage um, from coloring light nor having to press hard or having to color for a long time, depending on what I was coloring. Um, Cause one of the projects that I did with these pencils did take a while to complete just because, you know, the bow required a lot of work. So there you have that. Um, other than that, that's all the information that's printed on the pencils. Of course, there is no light fast information included, which I do understand to some people that's not important, but to some it is. However, um, these pencils were first advertised as far as I could tell to target the coloring book market, which, you know, w with painting in a coloring book, your work would be protected in the pages with the book being closed. So light fastness might not necessarily be something that's completely important to you. I personally think they work really well in a sketchbook on several different types of paper, in all honesty. Um, the lid was really soft as advertised. Now, break resistant, maybe not. I did experience some breakage um, with the lids from pencil to pencil. Not all of them, just a few of them. Um, and there is a little bit of fallout or debris from coloring with the pencils when you do. So there's something to keep in mind because you may want to put something down under your hand to keep from smudging um when you are using the pencils of course i didn't because i'm a daredevil and i just go for it i'm too lazy to grab a piece of paper most times but i do suggest it with that being said it's not so much fallout that i feel like you know that it takes away from anything as far as the other all overall positive aspects of the pencils are concerned now there is of course a white and a black included the black i felt was pretty opaque but the white itself is not necessarily as opaque as I would like for it to be for uh, a colored pencil set. However, you can achieve your secondary highlights with the white. Um, didn't experience any problems with that. So, and I do think you get to see me attempt to use that white in one of the demos that came out with me using this. I want to say it was that New Year's um, Christmas ball, Christmas bulb bow illustration. I think I'm not exactly sure. So that's pretty much the physicality of the pencil straightforward as well as what the packaging looks like. Um, as I said, I'm going to remove these and put them in a pencil store on my desk with some other pencils so that I can use them on top of work. So taking a look at the swatching, I swatched the pencils out. It's a pretty decent range of pencils. You get several different shades of a color within a group. Um, it's kind of lacking in the grays. I mean, let's just be honest. There was one gray and it's really more of a silver leaning tone. Um, there are a few browns in the set, uh, more of them red leaning, but they are still pretty useful. I found, um, which you were able to see in the demo that played right before, um, this review started. Um, there is a really nice range of greens, which I always find really handy, um, especially being a partial landscape artist. I really like using greens and I do like painting food too. And there are a lot of green foods. So there's that. Um, cool and warm split primaries you can pull from here because believe it or not, you can mix color pencils by layering them. And we're going to take a look at that in a minute. 
Of course, there are no color names, so you will have to make reference based on the color number, which of course, if you keep in this storage, you won't really be able to see if you store the pencils in order to protect the lids. So again, it's a little give and take, and you're gonna understand a lot of things when I tell you what the, the price of the pencils, which we're gonna get to in just a moment, because we're not gonna make this review long at all. Let's look at some of the testing that I did. So I used the You Create Mixed Media um, Heavyweight Acid-Free Wet and Dry Media Paper. Uh, so it's a pretty economical paper. I believe I got this sketchbook from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty readily available in most of your big box stores. I've seen it in several different places. And it's a pretty, you know, decent student grade paper, especially for uh, testing color pencils. So the first thing I did was an erase test. Um, I tried to use a pencil that I thought would be have a more staining pigment with it. Now, of course, these are wax-based pencils, and you are going to get a waxy coverage um, with the pencils. The more you use them, the more you layer them, it's, and the heavier you press. So that's something to keep in mind. And this just simply meaning they have, probably have more wax and oil because I'm sure they contain an oil as well. I thought it would stain, but it really didn't. It lifted okay, in all honesty. Um, and I did have to erase some in one of the demos that I did, and it erased pretty well where I went outside of the circle while I was coloring. So um, they do erase pretty well. Now, the pencils do smudge. I tell you guys, I sort of have oily hands, but these pencils kind of moved well in all of the blending tests that I did with them. So... They will smudge. As I told you earlier, they have a little bit of debris, a little bit of fallout. Not much, but a little bit. I used the water, and I was really surprised at how well not only they blended, but they actually moved with the water. I was able to drag that color out quite a bit there. Now, it's not super saturated, but, you know, you can get sort of a washy effect, um, which is, you know, most color pencils will move a little bit, but I think that's sort of a bit much. Um, sort of give and take. That's one of the cons, but I think the pros kind of outweigh the cons. Here I use Spirit. They blended down beautifully with Gamzol. They also moved, but I thought it was ironic that they moved more with water than they did with Gamzol. But I believe they blended better with Gamzol than they did with water. And simply because I believe that Spirit kind of breaks down the wax and really helps the pigment blend and lay down into the tooth of the paper. Um, I was kind of surprised that they blended as well as they did with alcohol. And as you can see, I was able to drag them outside of that um, swatching square quite a bit as well. So they blend and move with alcohol. So you have several blending methods that you could use uh, with these pencils. And then finally, I use baby oil, which of course, when you use baby oil in order to blend your pencils, um, you can't really do much layering on top of it afterwards. And I think it's because of the oil that's added to uh, the project. So if you're going to use baby oil to blend your pencils, I really suggest you let that be the very last step that you're going to take um, with illustration. Um, if you just have no other choice but to use baby oil. However, as I said, they blended and moved relatively decently with all of those tests. So that's something to keep in mind based on the way you paint and the way you create, whether or not these pencils would fit into the way you um, illustrate. So I did color mixing, because as I told you guys, you can layer um, pencils in order to mix them to get different colors. Um, and I kind of tried to use two different color mixing um, temperature tests here. So more on the cool and more on the warm, but here, uh, more of a lemon yellow color and a vermilion red gave me a beautiful orange. They didn't, that vermilion red and the, I guess what I would consider more of an ultramarine didn't mix too well. They give you more of a deep violet than a bright punchy violet purple like um, I get over here but they still mixed pretty decently and they layer and blend real really well into each other with no problems. Now here I was able to bring that lemon yellow down and mix it with the more ultramarine color in order to get a beautiful um, sort of sappy leaning green. Uh, it was beautiful earth green. 
So the pencils definitely could be layered if you wanted to pull them out and just use a limited number of colors to kind of practice on your color mixing with pencils or blending. Um, I think that's really cool. And the same thing here, I was able to achieve really pretty mixes by layering primaries just in a different temperature range. So for all intents and purposes, the testing for the pencils uh, went pretty well. I did a little quick illustration with them down here where I painted a landscape inside an eye. And I was really kind of testing the paper to see how it would handle these pencils. Um, they are pretty soft, so they layer really well. Um, and you can layer several different I got like three layers in some areas and I thought it was really cool. Now I typically use varnishing in order to blend the pencils versus using one of these blended methods. And even in with that, the pencils blend cover uh, the tooth of the paper really well. So I'll show you guys some things that I did with the pencils really quick. Um, and then we're gonna wrap this on up. So. This is that Soho Urban Artist sketch paper. I'm going to link the demos that accompany these. Now, this is the uh, Happy New Year card front that was painted. You could scan it in and turn it into a, car, a New Year's card if you wanted to. Um, but I loved the way the bow is in the pine branch came out in this illustration. Those pencils are so smooth and blend really well together and layer really well. And they're not weak. The pigmentation is not weak at all. It's, it's really punchy and vibrant. I really love that. And um, they, it also worked well with ink um, as well as acrylic. So really cool, really, really cool pencils in that illustration. Uh, then of course there was the illustration done in the demo today, which I used Strathmore Tone Tan Mixed Media Paper. Now, originally I was doing a tulip and I'll show you guys this here. I'm gonna finish this. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna actually finish taping the demo for it, but halfway through it, I just kind of lost inspiration. Um, but I'm hoping I find the inspiration to finish this because uh, I do want to get the greenery in just to see how uh, it looks. That's, I love these pencils on this tone paper. So what you saw in the demo today was this illustration, uh, which is a landscape in a circle. I, I like the way it turned out. I like using color pencils to create landscapes. Um, and I didn't use any type of spirit or water, anything of that nature in order to blend these pencils. I just used heavy pressure when I needed to blend and get um, a more saturated color. So they pass all of the really cool tests. They blend a the little, I enjoyed using the pencils and the fact that I know that they're such a budget pencil. Um, they weren't precious when I was using them. Um, and I don't mind sharpening them and continuing to test them. Now, getting right into the price, I paid, or the pencils should I say are currently $13.99 on Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I do not know about their website. I'll check, I'll link both in the video description um, so that you guys can check both places in case you want to try to source the pencils. I'll be honest, I recommend them. Um, I know in some videos I kind of skip this part, but if I had to give the pencils, um, you know, a rating, I would give them definitely a four. These are really cool pencils. I mean, I, I don't give them a five because of some of the cons that they do have. For instance, some of the cons that come along with the storage or, or the way that they're packaged. Um, the fact that I did have some of them break on me. Um, although they are advertised as break resistant. Um, there are no color names on the barrels, of course. And it's hard to see the number on the barrel because of the way you have to store the pencils, especially if you're going to keep them in the container that they came in. Um, but those few cons do not outweigh all of the pros, which is that they are smooth. The colors are really, really bright. Um, the pencils sharpen super well. They're going to be really great in detailing. They are soft. 
the lids are here or there. For me, that was just me. It may not be that way for everyone else. I do feel like they do lay down and cover really, really well. Um, and I love the fact that, you know, it's an environmental friendly product and they are so economically priced. So yes, I definitely recommend the pencils. I don't feel like you can go wrong with them. I think that they are a workhorse pencil. They work in so many situations. They worked on several different types of paper, paperweight drawing paper, tone mixed media paper, um, a less expensive, more economical mixed media everyday uh, sketch paper. So cool pencils, definitely recommend them. Price is absolutely amazing on them. Product is really cool for the quality. These will be making the recommended product list. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the demo and the review and you heard something that is going to help you make a more informed decision about whether or not you would like to add these pencils to your art supply collection. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you are new and are returning and haven't subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscription button and that notification bell so you will know when all of the new content comes out. Share the video because sharing is caring and maybe someone else would love to hear this information for this particular pencil set because they've been wondering. You can hit up the comment section. Let me know what did you think of the demo? What did you think of the review? Have you used the pencils? What do you think of them? Are your experiences the same as mine? I would love to chat with you guys. I would love to know. Keep in mind that the video description is going to have all of the relevant links. The Facebook group where we do all things artsy and crafty and all artists and crafters are welcome. You can get the most recommended product list where you're going to get great quality products that will not break your pocket. And you also get the links for the Etsy shop as well as the Patreon. Now, Etsy and Patreon are wonderful ways where you can support the channel and help me continue to bring you videos like this and review all of these products and help you save a penny or two. They're just little minor dollar support things. So if you do great, if you don't, I still love you and you are still welcome and I hope you join me. Thank you guys so much. And remember, as I tell you at the end of every single video, just keep painting and crafting.